You're listening to my voice over time. Let's do an experiment and see what it sounds like if all the words I've spoken so far come to you all at once. Ready? (laughs) Yeah, that's loud and also incomprehensible. But in editing this, I merely place the words on top of each other. The duration is still about a second. Let's squeeze the volume of all those words down to an instant. Ready? Uh, I don't want to hurt your ears nor kill the speakers you're listening to, but you get the idea. Lots of sounds scrunched into a single moment provides a powerful punch. What you hear is a kaboom. A firecracker is giving you a bunch of sounds at once, which is why it goes kaboom. Remember how the water waves look when the bug is traveling faster than the wave speed? You get trailing bow waves. And here we're talking about water waves. But sound, too, travels in waves. What happens when an object travels faster than the speed of those sound waves, which is about 767 miles per hour? Answer, the same thing. Sound waves pile on top of each other along this trailing edge. Except sound is three-dimensional. So rather than a V, what you get is a cone, as shown here. There are actually at least two cones, one of very high pressure where air molecules have been scrunched all together, and the other of very low pressure, where the air molecules are spaced apart. It's called a shock wave, and it trails behind the faster-than-sound object, such as a jet or speeding bullet. In a shock wave, lots of sounds are hitting you all at once. And that's commonly called a sonic boom. Good energy. 